I'd like to see the leagues come to some kind of a conclusion, how, how mm. that is done. Um, listen, I know as of right now, Euros has not been moved, but if it does, maybe it opens up additional dates, as uh, Gab was, was alluding to. Um, whether it's a playoff system, whatever it may be, the last thing I want to see happen is that 2019, 2020 is simply written out of the, mm. of the record books. I think the knock-on effect for that it's huge, not just for, for clubs like Liverpool with their first title in 30 years, but Benevento in, 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 Serie, B, in Serie B, 20 points clear. Mm. They're now being denied um, a lucrative opportunity to play in, in Serie A. That, I, I just feel it, it has too big a knock-on effect to simply say, ah, sorry about that, well, let's, uh, let's just do this all over again come August. Yeah, from the perspective of players, you want things to be decided mm. out on the field. And I think we would all would want to see, at the very least, some sort of competition that determines the final outcome of whatever league we're talking about. Now, so people are going to point at the fact that Liverpool is at the distance that they are, and, and, and rightfully so. And so then you have to consider, well, not all leagues are made equal in this 2019-2020 season. And so... If you're the Premier League, do you then take yourself out of that equation and then you say, you know what, Liverpool should be the, the champions. We don't have to play for that, but we do have to play for relegation. And so do, they, do you then involve teams in a relegation playoff? That, those are decisions that are individual and unique to each league. What I would say is that overall, I would like to see it be played out on the mm. field and decided on the field. When you just say, you know what, we're done with it and we'll just take the result as, as it is, it doesn't feel like, the, like you have decided whatever mm. comes out of it out on the training ground and out on the playing field. And as players, that's what you want to do. You want to compete for something. Gab, it feels like the big circuit breaker in this decision-making process on Tuesday will be the Euros, Euro 2020. If, if yeah. UEFA does decide to postpone them or move them to next year, whatever they decide, that does open up the summer. How likely is that, do you think? I think it's increasingly likely. Um, there, there, there's several factors to consider. One, off the top of it, UEFA uh, themselves and also you know, the big European clubs um, they also want the Champions League and the Europa League to finish. So um, we don't know when this crisis is going to be over. But if you get into a scenario where, um, you know, it gets to mid-May and it's looking like, you know, maybe in June this could be a possibility, everybody is going to want what, what Moreno just said, which is let's go out there and let's settle things uh, on the field. Um, that might mean, for example, Champions League ties that, that are one-legged, uh, playing in neutral venues. It could mean things like that, but they want to cram that in. Um, if they can't cram it in ahead of the Euros, then I think in the end the, there is enough impetus there to go and postpone the Euros. For, I mean, first and foremost, you know, Champions League finals May 30th, Euros start June 12th. It's not that much lag time in between. Uh, if you can do one, you can do the other. If you can't, you, there's no way you're going to be able to do one and not the other is basically what I'm driving at. If you move them, I, everybody's talking June 2021. There are, again, a number of logistical hurdles there. You've got World Cup qualifiers scheduled for that time. Fine, maybe you can move them, put them somewhere in the schedule. You have the Europa Nations League Final Four. Okay, fine, don't play that, move it somewhere else. You know, it, it pales by, by comparison. Uh, you have the Women's European Championships, uh, which, which kick off uh, at the beginning of July. There will be some overlap there. They, they're, they're being played in England. Uh, you may have to, you know, rejigger uh, the end of the men's Euros. Maybe you don't play it at Wembley and whatever. That is sort of doable, although, again, in terms of, of marketing and publicity, for the Women's Euros, you know, that's something that they need to think about because, obviously, there will be some cannibalization there. Um, but the other big issue is the FIFA Club World Cup, the inaugural FIFA Club World Cup. 24 teams from around the world, eight from Europe, eight really, really big teams uh, from Europe who are going to make a lot of money off this. How will they feel if that gets, because there's a clash there, if that has to be rescheduled or, or postponed? Um, look, in the end, I think where there's a will, there's a way, but there's a lot of logistical stuff that they would need to figure out. Personally, I'm starting to think that might be the best idea. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.